good afternoon and today we're gonna go looking for receipts or is that even a term we should be using in true crime this might come off as a little ranty but let's just call it an editorial opinion shall we up there for your convenience is the definition of a receipt the action of receiving something or the fact of its being received. And if you look at the synonyms, receiving, reception, getting, obtaining, gaining, acceptance, these are all transactional statements. Let's take a look at another definition. Evidence, the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. Again, let's look at the synonyms, proof, confirmation, verification, substantiation, corroboration, affirmation, authentication, and so on. Did you notice were there any of the same synonyms in the definition of evidence as there was in the definition of receipts? I sure didn't. So I guess in the true crime genre, if we want to be genuine and authentic, and credible, we should be looking for receipts. No, we should be looking for evidence, right? Right. And while we're at it, let's follow along with what corroborating evidence is. Corroborating evidence is evidence that strengthens or confirms already existing evidence. In courts, it is used to support the testimony of a witness. So where am I getting this definition from? With apologies to my beloved University of Michigan, Harvard, Yale, Stanford, and all the other places, it's Cornell Law School. Cornell Law Library Online answers every question I have about the law every time I have a question. So thank you, Cornell. It's greatly appreciated. Now let's take an example of an allegation and ask ourselves, is there corroborating evidence? The clip you're about to see is, I don't know, 20 seconds, a minute, two minutes, I'm not sure, of Doug talking about other creators. So let's take a listen. Locked up or, or screwed up or, or, or put somebody in this case that doesn't deserve it? No, I'll, I'll give you receipts. It's the only way I'll call people out. And if they have nothing to do with the case or really mean nothing like these people who want to come in and try to get, you know, gain uh, subs off our names or put us in their names and have these smear campaigns or videos, I hate videos. I just don't respond to them. They're narcissists and they'll go away and they go away angry. So it was, you know, 22 seconds out of a four hour live stream. The first point he makes is that if he goes after anybody, he will give you receipts, not evidence. The second one insinuates that other creators have contributed little or nothing. Is that true? Well, Killer Looks and Nana's Angels have uncovered two very hot topics recently. Some of the sources for Nana's Angels are Tennessee Truth, otherwise known as TT, and TCCT Dumpling Channel plus Chaz Nesbitt, who did the original reporting on his Skyline News on Facebook. Now, according to law enforcement, there is an unidentified bone remain of a 22-year-old, and that is all we have from law enforcement on that subject. Next, he alleges other creators put our names in their content. His words, not mine, for clicks, views, hate, and smear campaigns. The our in that implies we. Who is we in what he's talking about? He never says. As far as our definition of evidence goes, where is the evidence? And, but more importantly, when Doug does a video, if he does a live stream, what he's doing is restreaming or rebroadcasting his own content for the most part. And he always tries to include places where he's on somebody else's panel, usually somebody he has 
an adversarial relationship to a greater or lesser extent. Now let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. We opened up the description under Doug's video and we look at what he says. He's given a little verbiage and right under that is Doug's P.O. Box, his Amazon wish list, his Cash App, his PayPal, and his Venmo, his merch, his other channels, his Twitter, his Instagram, his Facebook, but oddly enough, not a single source for where he's getting his information. No timestamps, no other creators where he's done his research, nothing like that. Now let's look at my last video, not my last video, but my video for Anastasia Gilly once her mother had started giving us information, which is when I started reporting. We've got Devoted Warrior Survivor Strong, the mother, Mary. We have Dutchie, who did the flyer. We have The Stand, who did a fundraiser during the time when we still did not know where Anastasia was. And we, did, we gave you the news report that I used as a source and so on. But wait, there's more. Under all those sources or pieces of evidence for what I'm saying is my social media. No cash apps, no wish lists, none of that stuff. So what about those videos mentioning I'm no thanks for clicks, views, subs, and smear campaigns? Do I have any of those? Actually, the last video I did about Doug was a month ago, and it's the second from the top there called Honey Honey, meaning you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. And it was talking about how nasty Doug can be with his so-called sense of humor where he mocks and belittles other people. His favorite target is Candace, where he compares her to an ugly monster or a large, stupid cartoon duck. Go watch the video. Oh, and incidentally, it got 49 views, and it was a month ago. But let's see if there's anything else recently about Doug in my catalog, and does it qualify as a smear campaign? Well, Interestingly enough, about a month before, on April 2nd, 2023, I did a short titled Spontaneous Humor Between Doug and Don, and it was a spontaneous moment where Doug made a crack about Spackle, and Don just responded with a one-word response that was really funny, and I complimented Doug on that spontaneous moment. So that was a short, and YouTube should have loved it and pushed it out, right? Well, how many clicks, views, likes, and subs did I gain from Doug? Well, over two months' time, I got 155 views, zero thumbs up, one comment, and zero subscribers. Thanks for joining me for what could have been a rant, ended up being a lighthearted look at legal definitions of receipts, evidence, and corroborating evidence. Thanks, Doug. You can be assured I won't be paying much attention anymore. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. I'll see you real soon.